I'm gonna have it on as well. And with that, hey YouTube, how are you doing? This is a bot from the 17th of September. I'm again stockpiling my streams, which is a terrible idea and it sucks. And I don't know why I do it all the time. Maybe because I'm lazy. That would be very reasonable. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to upload this very soon. I maybe do it after the stream to upload a few of them. That you can see it's still in September when the event is up. That'd be pretty damn cool. Now, this is no gacha. If you don't know, we have rules. We are not allowed to do any gacha at all. And that's, that's about the account. That's, that's everything. So, um, I did yesterday a stream for opening. That I hope uh, the video will go well. I haven't uploaded yet. I mean, it is uploaded, but not published. And yeah. So I'm kind of curious uh, how it will go. I'm kind of sad about the tier list thing. More threat. Welcome to stream. So, uh, like, the tier list usually does really well. Like, always. Always over 20,000 views, everything. I'm always super hyped about it when I upload a tier list. For the first time ever, I had a sponsor on the tier list as well. And I thought, like, yeah, it's... Probably it's gonna do really well, and I hoped it would do really well. And now the views are uh, not so not, not as good as I hoped it would be. But I re like I like the sponsor. I think they're a really a really cool company. Like I think they are doing uh, they're doing a good a good thing there. And it kind of sucks that now the Achilles is not doing as well as they usually. So YouTube algorithm is sometimes really damn weird. I hate it. Like the thing is. I can't show you the stats, I can, but like, it's easier if I'm not. Uh, I have like over 10% impression or like over 10% click rate, which is amazing. Usually you expect like 6 to 8. And though everything over 10 is amazing and usually should get promoted by YouTube. I have over 10 on the tier list, YouTube just doesn't promote it. it, it I, it's weird. I mean, I'm not complaining about the amount, the, the amount of views that I got. It's not a bad amount. It's just usually for tier list it's higher. And uh, I told the sponsor that it probably is going to be that high and it's not going to be that high. So that kind of kind of sucks. Also, Daybreak, how are you doing? Well, no gacha it is today. Did I update the freaking thing? Oh, I don't know if I updated the... Oh, did I update the... The no stream notification? I think I did. I hope I did. If not, that'd be terrible. Anyway, no gacha. Don't look at the sanity thing. I don't know why I have so much sanity. That looks horrible. Please tell me specialist is open so I can farm for enforcer. Yes, it is. Oh, boy. I didn't need to. I already did. Uh, how about this one? Four, one. Yeah, we got it. We got. We gotta be farming this one. Copying stream. Let's go. What do you mean copying stream? I'm not copying anything. What? What, what am I doing? I'm gonna not pre farming. I don't need to. Now it's time where I can pre farm, since guys, usually we have a prediction on that goes like for thirty minutes. And I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it on already, and uh, you guys can already start gambling. And then I, in the meantime, that we don't have to do in nothing, I can just farm and do some just chatting and talk about how cool Casimaro is and how sad it is that Enforce is the well for you, not Casimaro. I w I would have absolutely loved to get Casa. That be that would have been so damn cool. So what will your prediction be like? Can I beat the? Guiding ahead event in one hour. What do you mean the fuck two hours? We're, we're doing we're doing one hour. In one hour. I was thinking about this. And from now on, we're not gonna have different times. Like it's always first week. It's always gonna be one hour. Second week, always gonna be three hours. So there's no, like, um, judgment from chat, like, oh, now this is hard, we gotta make it longer, or, oh, no, it's hard, but I want to make it shorter. It's just always one hour for the first week, three hours for the second. I think it just makes sense. Not including if there's, like, any mini, mini annihilations or, like, secrets or whatever. Good. Outcome is, uh, yes, say, believe. Oh, God, I can't write. Believe and... No, say, say scam once again. There we go. Can I be guiding ahead in the, in the event in one hour? 
No Gamba yet. Now it is. You were just one second too early to write the message. First week is always easy as fuck. Yes. One hour is always a good time. I, I have also been over one hour. Like, it just needs, like, two... Or, like, at least one stage that is hard to figure out. And then, everything is falling apart. And for the second week, I barely... I'm barely able to beat it under three hours. Like, like usually it's above three hours. Oh, the pollster, we did well. At least on my account. If you happen to be a viewer that gave me their account, then I can't say the same thing. I, I wish I could, but I can't. But also, Watcher, welcome to the stream. Grow here, how are you doing? I know you want to stress me, but I won't be stressed from you. When do you want to do something today evening? I know you want to do something with me, but at which time? Tell me. The short gamba, it's like I'm the only one doubt. I, I don't... Wait. I was in... Wait, wait who, who ended the gamba? The gamba was good this way. We're not changing anything. Gamba is gonna be fine. Wait, did... Oh, wait. Delete, delete, delete. Delete. Did, did I forget to, to, to set the time? I felt like Allison interrupted it or something. Or Arika. Because it's either too short or too long. And we're gonna... Go with 30 minutes. It said for me 10 minutes. It should be now 30 minutes. This man even scammed himself, maybe. The new scam technique. Now it's better. Now, now it should be 30 minutes. Now everyone has the time. Everyone should have gotten their points refunded and now. You can gamba. I just wish Twitch would release an update. Or like stream elements where YouTube could see those gambas that we're doing. Right now, like this is a Twitch, like a, a what? If they're for the people for YouTube. They watch this. Maybe one or two. Anyway, it would be cool if like those people that just watched the recording would also see uh, the game by itself. I think that would be pretty cool. What the f what is wrong with this gamba? What is wrong with this gamba? Why is my other gamba not saved? Okay. Can Ceceve, we, we are not scuffing fi things. Uh, can I beat the guiding ahead event in one hour? Yes. Say believe. God damn it, this is so damn scuffed. No. Say scam once again. You guys are used to it, come on. Now it should be fine. So for now it should be good, right? Finally. This is the setup we needed. It's a correct gamba. Yes, he make predictions. <laughs> come on. It's not that bad. I only need the three tries. I think compared to what I usually need, it's a pretty good average. So... Is this a new gacha account? Yes, it is. So for people that don't know that are here for the first time, first of all, hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Asif. I'm doing no gacha stuff and other challenges. I'm playing games wrong all the time. So now that I stole the intro from someone else, from another YouTuber that I like to watch, uh, yeah, it's a no gacha account. We're not allowed to do any recruitments. No gamba, no, no gacha at all. Nothing. We are not allowed to use yellow certificates. Not, I could get sixes with that. That'd be boring. Um, friend support. Pfft, come on, who needs friends? I never had one in like 23 years. I don't need to start with that. So, also I'm not allowed, allowed to use Papa Kyo's team's guide. And those are all the rules. I think that is everything you need to know about the account. And I've proven I don't have a gambling addiction. Well, you're part of chat. And chat has proven to me many times that they do have a gambling addiction. So I don't know if you are out of the blue. Also, our guest, thank you so much for joining in. Also, that now it's the time to say hello to everyone that joined in. Uh, this is gonna be scuffed. More threats. Daybreak Null. Clausen is Lock. Um, Aricha, Ellison, Firewig, Rope here. Uh, who else did I miss? Morgan Riddle. Watcher. 
é Otaku Banks. É, Nitro Blast. And with that, I think that should be a Scaredy Cat. Three as well. Franz, Lilian the Powered, uh, Auges, Lazy Panda, Super Air One. Thanks so much for joining in. How are you doing, guys? Boss music is a banger. I love boss music, but maybe that one is not so much. I need some chill music, you know? We, we need to really split when there's like action going on. We have those fast paced music. But like, if we're just farming, then I think. Just some beats are fine. Dare vote. Hello to you as well. Why is he reading all our usernames? This is for me to say hello. It's just like, hey guys. It's like appreciation to say I actually read chat and care about every single one in chat. Not that I like just keep talking, not even saying hello to the people that are joining in. I think it's kind of important to at least greet someone. I mean, at a certain point when I'm when you're focused playing a stage, you can't anymore. But at least in the beginning of the stream, when there's like, why, do, why is there 55 people in here? I, just, I want to see like when there's like only 10 people here. Okay, yeah, when there's like 55 people in here, then you can at least greet everyone with their name, you know. Quark! <laughs> well, on Desi's names, I just don't know how to pronounce. Craig, I have no clue. Thanks so much for joining in. It's a read, impossible. I'm trying. I want to get better at reading. Like, if you read chat, what was my last message? Like, what do you mean? It's like, I read chat, but I can't remember every single message that a certain person wrote. I would have a very hard time. Especially because I'm a person that loves to talk to just like, read one message, talk about it for like five minutes, and then go back to chat again. Which is not really the best way, but it's kind of nice. Nitro Blast, I haven't seen it yet, but it's probably was hello. The new sca scam technique. Here we go. See, I read chat. You never said I need to memorize it. Actually, something I never told you guys. I thought I'd keep it a secret, but you may think I don't read chat. And I maybe ignore some of you. I don't. Every time I stream, I rewatch the stream and read every single chat message just so I read it. That's for me very important. I swear, I, I do this all the time. It's, it's just like, I'm just not able to keep up with the chat otherwise, so I have to rewatch the stream to do so. I hope it's not that bad with that, but I, I swear that's my threat. By the way, we're Paper Feet. Paper Feet is there. Everyone loves our Paper Feet. Like, I just hate this at the moment, the Paper Feet thing. I mean, it's great, but I feel like the main reason why people now sub to my channel is not because of the content, the ad free viewing experience or whatever it is mainly because they have a frog licking a feet that's probably the number one reason why people subscribe at the moment on my twitch i don't know if that should be the concerning part but it really is is it, is it really just that good like i should probably should have added this a long time ago probably i would be now driving a lamborghini or something if i would that was definitely a mistake on my side i'm learning from it but I I'm gonna be I like the emote. I, I think it's cool. It's a cool emote. <laughs> I'm surprised how many of you love it, actually. By the way, um, Nitro Blast. I even know the last channel point message you wrote. It was, the real scam was the journey along the way. See, I am reading chat. And so I read points. See, it's not a scam at all. Of course. <laughs> anyway, I don't even. I haven't checked if we're getting like uh, chips, uh, specialist chips. I hope we do. It would be, be kind of cool. Certainly helpful. Also, I really want to update the music list. Man, I need to. Like right now, we're listening to Summoning Salt playlist. Mainly because, like, I have like three different playlists, but I feel like it's so damn repetitive. Like, I have my. Um, uh, Arknights OST um, playlist. I have my. Um, normal plays that, that I used for longest time, like um, with boss music, with uh, hype music and stuff like that. And then we have the League of Legends playlist that I use all uh, some of the time. It still feels repetitive. I, I just don't know how much music you actually need. It's insane. Let me see if Reed, he spent five more minutes per stage. I, like, 
as I said, when I'm focused and I probably don't read as much, I'm trying so hard. Like, when I watch streams, I also prefer when the streamer is also, like, at least paying some attention to chat. Like, there's some guy, like, some small content creator, like, with just, like, a thousand average, uh, 10,000 average viewer. His, his name is, like, S. Virtual. I don't know how he does it. But I feel like he's able to just read every single chat message. And, like, there can be two people in my chat I'm already, it's way too much for me to read. Is it just because I'm a blind person? Like, what am I doing wrong? That, uh... That I just can't follow a chat, even if it's just two people writing. I mean, I I do want to say to my defense. I inher inherited being blind. I have this from my mother as well. She's also like, a, she has like, we're not blind, but we have like something called a tunnel vision. Like, we can only focus on a certain spot and we just blind everything out. Which is really helpful if you have to focus on something very specific. But if you need to see the overall picture, I just can't. It doesn't work. It's just... And, uh, I just inherited this from my mother. He, the blind is not blind, he just can't see. It's about accurate. It, it really is. I think Sanders will not be able to reach out while playing. I mean... I would... Maybe it is, but I would say I'm below average. I think the average would do way better than I would do. That's what I believe. I just gotta practice it more. I really need to read chat. Like when I'm here farming, I can read, yes, all in doubt. I can see that, I can read. But when I'm focusing on playing a stage, I am just so damn focused on this very stage that I just forget about, oh yeah, there's a chat as well. Oh wait, I'm streaming to like 100 people. I should probably see like a word. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a such a bad habit of mine. Put Twitch chat transparent in the middle of your game. Even then, <laughs> I will probably be able to see through you guys. Like, un don't underestimate my tunnel vision. Like, there was a very interesting experiment that, like, uh, one university did in America. Like, uh, you probably have seen it, like, if you went to school. A lot of school teachers like to show it to their um, uh, students. Like, there's, like, one group... Of, uh, like one class watching a screen and they're dribbling and then you have to count how many times they dribble and they count 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 and while they're counting there's like just a freaking gorilla just walking around in the screen and because they're so focused at like um, counting that they completely just don't see that gorilla and that's quite a very interesting experience like when you're focused, when you're really focused on one thing, you are really able to just turn completely everything off, and it really works. Like when I did it, like when the teacher showed it to us, like obviously he did the same experience. He wanted to see. I, I may have fucked up. Like maybe I, I just didn't count. I was too bored by it. But like there were a few people in my class that actually didn't see the gorilla and stuff, and it does work. Like obviously, if 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 you have a student that doesn't really care about like uh, dudes dribbling. <laughs> it doesn't. But if someone actually tries to count, then you, most of the time it should be working. War is a very interesting experiment, though. It's about watching the whole picture and only watching one spot of the screen. Yeah. Like, I think TikTok also, like, I think I've seen recently a TikTok, not on TikTok, but on YouTube Shorts, where someone did the same thing with, like, ducks. Was it ducks? I think it was ducks in a... In a... Ibev. I'm not sure though anymore, but I, I know someone did it as well, just in a different version. Also, Lacrosse Fallen, how are you doing? Also, did someone else? Shenik, hello to you as well. Rohan, hey, hey. I just want to make sure I don't miss anyone today. Axel, how are you doing as well? And with that, I should have said hello to everyone. Well, no gacha. Enforcer, we're getting enforced today. What I'm doing right now is pre farming for him. Question is if I'm getting lucky enough to get all LMD that I need to upgrade him, but hopefully I do. And then we might be able to do some some testing. Even easy. That's what I assumed so. Uh, I'm gonna make a poll now. By the way, you can gamba if you want to bet your points to win or lose, if I can beat it in one hour or not. And I actually thought I did the gamba right. I literally wrote the belief wrong. Anyway, I'm gonna make now a poll. And I kind of want to know what you think. If we take a break while we're playing the no gacha thing to like for 10 minutes to just level enforcer. Just pause the timer 
take the time to level enforce it so we can use him in the later stages. Um, take break for leveling enforcer. It's just nice if you have a new unit that we can already test it out. Like, it's just one hour. The streamer usually goes on for three hours. So we would have the time. No problem. Um, yes, please. Please do. Or no. No, don't. Uh, you guys have two minutes time. He can't read or nor write. You know, it is true that I may have a very, very bad grammar. But uh, this is also because it's quite... It's, how do I say this? Distressing. If you're streaming and you know there's like 50 people watching and then you write like a prediction and you want to write it fast, there's like some kind of pressure on you and you kind of want to make it fast so you can go back to actually being fo uh, focusing on like what you're saying. And I'm... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So should I do it? I'm gonna check the pull. Right now it looks like... Yes, please do. Perfect. I just think it's cool if you can test out... Like, if um, if it's gonna be cool, if it's not gonna be cool. I mean, he's like Feeder. I'm not expecting him to perform extremely well in this event. I'm not expecting him to be actually useful anytime soon. Mainly because holds are just so rare in events. But I hope because they released the ball for a unit like this, that maybe in this event they included it as some. I think there was like a five months ago, there was an event where they actually had quite a few holes. That was a nice change. I really enjoyed that event though. Don't remember which one it was. Um, who is the free character again? Enforce was his name. Well, yesterday after your stream, I used the free heat hunting permits from the event shop and got Scotty 6 star for the first time. That's great. I'll honestly, I'm a big fan of Scotty. I, I think she's one of the better designs in the game. She may not be as useful as she... I mean, she never was really useful. But, uh... I mean, the beginning more than now. But, uh, she's still a cool unit to have. I mean, her design. Like, Sculpture or not Sculpture. Both looks absolutely amazing. Wait, um... Let me already start doing... That, uh, chip at, uh... Transfusion thing? What what do you call it even? Just transfuse thing here. So uh, I I don't waste my drones on stuff that shouldn't be used for. Here we go. And with that, we should have everything pre-found for our beautiful boy, Enforcer. By the way, is there some kind of lore to him? Like he's like the brother of Executor. Since they look very alike, I actually thought him to be in the same archetype. As a uh, executor when I first saw him. Already had Scotty Alter, so I got some free materials though. Yeah. It I mean Scotty is she is one of the coolest ones. Like for me the big three, like really look wise, are really just um Schwartz, our Scotty, and our Unectus. Now I love uh, Mandicore not just because of the look. She looks amazing. But like I would say the big three are Schwartz, Scotty, and Unectus. For me, they look... It's just the style I like. Like grown women look very confident. Uh, I like the look. I also like Shies. But uh, yeah. Dark Noxious, welcome to the stream. I don't think they're related. He was recommended to Rhodes Island by Executor. I, they do look very alike though. That's why I thought that. But hey. Oh god. So look at my base. Oh what wow, this is slavery. This is a slavery. Slavery. Gosh damn it. I can't even say the birds. I'm a bad boss. Now you know how Artica and Alice. Oh no how Art and Pika feel when they work for me. It's quite a horrific moment. Every time I give them a new job. They know it's time to work to death again. Any eyewitnesses? Anyone that can confirm the statement? <laughs> also, thanks so much for the follow, Outer Boxer. Outer Boxer, appreciate that a lot. I should probably check what he needs. I mean, since we're gonna take a break, I don't need to hurry with leveling anyway. 
Labor, slavery. It, it, probably an easier word to say is labor. Is it the same? I actually didn't know. I felt like there's some differences in there. I think labor is uh, less brutal. Is it? I don't know. Wait, Charlie. Okay. Is it the same thing? Wait, I gotta check. I actually don't know that. Difference between labor and... Uh, and slavery. Yeah, slavery is much more forced than labor. Good. I just want to ensure that they, I got this correct. Gosh. All of my operators are dead. They're straight up dead. I, I, I let them work to death. Like what YouTube's or uh, Google says about... Wait, I just already clicked away. It's more forced uh, slavery than labor. How long is the gamba going on? For another, like, about 12 minutes. In that case. The game really wants us to do, like, some uh, speed tickets. Our expansion plans. Guess, guys, guess how many XP... Okay, I just want to say how many XP tickets do I have. You can see the number here. I have 925 with that one. I uh, I would say I quite have a few. It would be quite a long opening if I would ever open this. Like, something that's very cool, unusual to check on this account is just, like, what I have. Since I never use them, right? I have in... Oh god, I didn't want to click on that. I want to click on Depot. Sharadar, how are you doing? Rafik, hello to you as well. Rafik, I need you um, later on. I'm gonna DM you later. After stream, I want to ask for your help. Also, Verse Devi, welcome to stream. There's like a video that I want to do and you're like one of the people that uh, probably knows the best about what I want to ask you. It's just, I, I need you for, I would, I would like to ask you for some ideas. That's about it. I will probably forget to DM you today. I tried to remember it though. So, um, what I want to show you guys, what I have. I have 392,000 Orundum. Free to play. I pretty much have not been farming Annihilation for months. Sometimes I do like on stream like one or two. But I, I, I never went to like a max out the weekly farming. So this could be like way, way higher. We have, what is, what else is impressive? Oh, we, oh, we can look at the skins. Oh, nice. Oh, that's perfect. What else do I have a lot of? Nothing really, right? Everything seems pretty average. Like, the only other thing is, like, the recruitment ticket with, like, 2,296. Which can also be considered quite impressive. Wait. Wait, 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 what? Wait, I'm confused. Wait, wait. Was it the I... It, it might have been because of the rerun, right? But still. Like, uh... That would mean I never gave her the max pot thing, right? Or did I get them in return? Because she was already a little bit leveled. Oh no, I'm confused. Pudding can be upgraded though. Pudding should have one. Okay. <laughs> I'm not asking questions. I, I am confused enough. I am very confused about this. 
I should... Wait, did I already buy all of them? Yeah, I did. Perfect. I can't really make use of them because I don't have any of these. Maybe the specialist token. I think I can get for sure like one. This might be the thing. But beside that, I can't really do anything with that. So skins. What can I buy? What is welfare? Sailage. Not so much. Mulberry. Can we, can we click through the stuff like this? Yeah. I like Sailage's skin. It looks really cool. You can buy nothing. No, you're lying. I can. So, um, Sailage. I like your design. Mulberry. Also a cool one. I'd say Sailage just... It's a little bit higher. Fuye? I don't know. I, I, she is cool. I mean, she is cool. I like stockings, okay? I'm a simple man. She's just like absolutely... She's a 10. Schwartz is, has always been a 10. She... Yeah, I, I just... I like Schwartz. One of the best designs in the game. So we're gonna buy the two-year one. Since it's free to play. The rest I can't really invest in. She has something. She really does have something. Schwartz skin is really good. I think both Schwartz skins are really good. Even her E2 art. The thing I struggle with her Schwartz skins is in general that her E2 art is already so damn amazing. That it's, it's, it's hard to decide on what you put on her. Her 2 is a healer. Yeah, I think the skin is an upgrade on her. Certainly. There we go. So, who of my wealth units doesn't really have any any skins? Gladia doesn't have a skin. Amia does have quite a few skins. Vibic has a skin. Lamebringer. He gets a skin. Savage doesn't have a skin. Does she? I don't think she has one. Uh, Saraka has one. Tachanka has one. Tequila has none. I'm not sure if he gets one though. Wishless has one, I think. Uh, Cruz, that version doesn't have one. Bison doesn't have one, I think. Uh, Rain doesn't have one. Shalom doesn't have one. Bree Breeze is the one I want. Breeze is the one I really want the skin of. She deserves it. She is really good. She is maybe expensive, but she is great. And she has a cool design. Salen. Uh, Falonik. Yeah. I would say... Actually, quite a few got a skin. Uh, yeah, I, I can't complain. Why do... Ah, we can... We might do them later on. Who knows? Wait, she does... Was it just a voice line? So, what does she have? Also voice line? Interesting. The voice line gotta be really good. Oh, wait, she got a skin. Oh no, a module. Oh. Oh, oh, I should probably... I should probably do this. Defeat 80... Okay, we can ignore that. Clear the side story of WR4. With 3 star rating. You must deploy your own lava. And have the lava purchase to defeat at least 8 enemies, including the, at least 1 lazy. WR4. I can do that. We already have the stuff for her, which is quite convenient. So WR, WR. Who is real? Oh, God. She's not in the team, right? I mean, still would have to make her like 8 kills. So we're gonna try that. Amia can be gone. And we're gonna go with Purgatory. Leveling our girl a bit. Eight kills. Quite a lot. I'm not sure if we're getting there. Breeze sucks. Breeze is amazing. Like, really trust me. Breeze is like... um, I would say she can't compete with, the, with the applesauce. It... If I would have both leveled on an account. Ignoring how expensive it was to get Breeze. They're both same level. Both M6. I would say I can really... See for both users. 
depending on the situation. I hope I'm able to make uh, the kills that I need. Oh, th probably this one is called a lazy. I gotta be really careful that I can, can I, that I can get the, sk the kills. Because she needs to make 8 kills. That's not gonna be easy. I don't think this one has range. So what I'm gonna do is this. Can she? How much damage is she dealing? Banner. I honestly hope for more. <laughs> Not gonna lie. She needs to kill a lazy. How does she do that? We're not... Okay. Wait, wait. She can. She can. I hope Banner wasn't the one that killed it. I'm just gonna make... I'm, I'm just gonna weaken him. Okay. Um, Gamba is over in a few minutes. I think we can go with like um, leveling the thing a little bit. That is good enough. I, I believe in lava now. I just, I kind of want to ensure that it's not uh, Gaviel. Oh no, Gladia that gets the, the kill there. That should have been her. 100% that was, that was lava. The question is if we get to the 8 kills. We should be, right? Will we start playing the event? About in 5 minutes. I'm just trying to unlock the module and then we're good. It just makes sense to get the module, right? So we're gonna save the run. Oh wait. Good, we, we, we did it, we did it, we did it, fine. Um, we need to get 80 kills, right? What's the easiest way to get 80 kills? A stage with a lot of enemies. A stage with a lot of enemies. What could that be? We could go with NLA. you know what, that's a good call. That is a really, really good call. But no, we need to finish the stage. Ah, that would take too long. A walk in the dust. Isn't that the, the freaking tumor thing? No. We're gonna go in chapter one or two. I'm a lazy person. I'm not gonna go through the trouble that I actually have to use my brain. I'm just gonna go with something that is probably easy to beat. And requires absolutely less than zero brain cells. Is there anything that can block but doesn't deal damage? Uh, yes, we have one. There we go. How many enemies are here? We need 80 kills, by the way. If everything goes well um, with this, we need in, in total how many runs? Four. Good. We just need to make sure that she gets... Uh, she gets uh, four, four, uh, all the 20 now. Bad cycle. Can she do it? I believe. I believe. Yes, come on. Belief in Supremancy from Lava. This model is trying to unlock. Uh, the one is on the ground. Lava. How much damage? I'm gonna go with this. Don't kill. Yes. Is she hitting the drone? Something tells me she's not hitting the drone. She is hitting the drone. All good, all good, all good. I was just worried for a second. 
Like, I, I feel like the drone miss might not gonna be in the range. There we go. Nice. That should be good enough. Yes. That's a good run. Is there any other module that I could unlock? That would be worth unlocking. Like, lava, alt lava is great. By the way, what exactly are we... Um, buffing? Like, uh, is she just getting more damage? I think that was the case for Lava Altar, but I gotta check. I was fairly sure it was just buffing the freaking attack. Lava. So the module, what does it do? It does... Where can I read this? Attack deals splash damage, it's not really what we want. Maximum HP plus 165 and attack plus 62. Wait, is she getting more range? Wait. She's getting more range. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, that's gonna be helpful. Like, then she will have the same range as a normal caster. I just love range increases. They help so much. You can use, like units in way different spots than normally and if you get range decrease it's like the worst thing ever for example granny she would be so much more amazing if she wouldn't have the range decrease or if Dona would have range those girls would be absolutely amazing is it why not farming 1.7 because i actually don't need to farm in the first place i was capping sanity like if i would have really if i really needed to farm then i would in my free time but since this account is pretty much maxed everything, I mean, reasonably a bit lazy, so my um, 9 cold tier is not on buff skills, M6 or M3s, but beside that, it's uh, everything should be decently leveled. She doesn't have caster range, not yet. With the module, she will. Like, it's hard to see, but like, she will get an additional dot here. Where, like that, where uh, Gladius faces. That's the module we're trying to farm for. Ever pre farm for the new op? Yes, I did just a few seconds ago. So, in other words, no, I didn't. But uh, we did the pull before. Uh, in the middle of Nogacha, we're gonna pause the timer. Not to learn about the event or whatever, but to just level Enforcer so we can use him for later stages. Have we already done it or do we need to do one more? Yeah, one more, it seems. I think it said 80 kills, right? I'm not doing it wrong. I could have farmed on an actual beneficial stage, but it, this stage is just a no-brainer. I didn't have to put a lot of focus in. And for, yeah, he seems very interesting. I also should check like the, the comments for my tier list. I haven't done that yet. So I, I wonder what people say about the ranking stuff. I had a very hard time with like all of these. Fiamata was maybe the easiest one actually. All of them were quite difficult to rank with others. I should I shouldn't read the comments now though. Maybe I shouldn't do that. But yeah. With that, we should have unlocked the Purgatory module, and we can start with the real challenge. And that is beating the Guiding Ahead event, which I heard is actually not easy. Like, someone told me, or not told me, I read in, like, um, what, what was it? Was it Discord? Where people said they were struggling on, what's it called? GH8, something like that. I, I read a message there that um, they were struggling. So, did we get it? I, I didn't see. Caster. That's the wrong one. Uh. Here we go. That's a little bit more HP. It's a bit more attack. And like immediately obtains 30... F oh, wait, that's the talent? Ra like attack range expands. This is the one thing we wanted. And like 80 more HP. I don't know why. 
that one I just didn't need. But uh, more air attack is, is always welcome. So I don't know if there's other casters as well that uh, got a martial upgrade. Uh, I think it's just purgatory for me. I wouldn't do it now, but it's just good to know. So right now. Why did he got all voice lines? When he grows on the cliffside, even the sturdiest bamboo feels a change in the wind. Very, very nice of her to say that. Wait, I wish she gets a mod I think she does, actually. That'd be cool. I'd be up for that. But I'm surprised everyone got, like, voice lines. If the C finds a trick, then G... Is it GA? GA isn't hard. Well, do you really expect me to find a trick? Like, do you expect me to have something called a brain? Then you're clearly overestimating me. How many recruitment tickets do you have now? 925. Oh, wait, no. That would be speed up tickets. Expansion. 2,296. I think. Wait, what does Durin have? I gotta check. Mm -hmm. We have 2,296, as I said. We just uh, looked before. That's why I remember the number. So. Where's the getting ahead thing? Here we go. I, I, I need to set up the team already. What is going to be our team? Like, I don't know anything about enemy mechanics or whatever they, they're capable of doing. Why do we have only that much LMD? Wait, what did I do that cost LMD? Oh, module, no. <laughs> we might not be able to level Enforcer. There is a slight chance we might not be able. The broke, I'm always broke, you know it. I like Amia, Let, let's just bring Amia. Uh, Nine color tier is really not that, that helpful. Cruise the King Client is great. Or King Glint. <sighs> don't really need scene. I don't like scene if you don't know the stage. I'm gonna go with something, Gabriel. Allow her design. That should be a very consistent startup team. We could maybe change her. I just, I just leveled her. Let's take. Mm. Would be a cool one for the thumbnail. You know, I already have to consider this for the thumbnail. Who be cool on there? Someone that I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna stick to Vena. I mean, why not? And with that, guiding ahead. I'm disappointed on in you. What What did I do? Why not using Honeyberry as a medic? I should, I should. But uh, she would be a good thumbnail though. You, you have a point. So where's the first stage, by the way? This one. And with that, it's time that we go into the music. And that I turn off the normal music. And here we go. Guys, it's time. Hey guys, how are you doing? Today we're doing No Gacha versus the Guiding Ahead event. And it's No Gacha. So as you guys know, no recruitments, no Gacha, no yellow certs, no guides, and also no friend support. That's about the rules. And with that, we're trying to beat the first week of the Guiding Ahead event. And we're leveling Enforcer to maybe make use of him later on. But beside that, that is everything. And we have one hour time to beat it. Question is, can I do it in less? That would be good. Would I believe have won? If not, non-believers have won. But with, the, with that said, we're gonna start. And we're not gonna start, actually. That was a lie. I forgot to start up the live split. We, got, we need a timer. Otherwise, we're gonna have a hard time. So we're gonna go with that. Uh, timer is here. And there we go. <laughs> no gacha versus guiding ahead event starts with that. Skipping also create counts the time. Very important. But yeah, I, I don't know if it's gonna be difficult. Wait, didn't we just change the team? Now we leveled her. That's the team we need. 
I'm sure the GA8 isn't seated and the RNG is different in every auto run. Wait, really? Wait, I don't know what the frick is going on with GA8, but I... Wow. <laughs> That's That sounds bad. I love the stage design. Oh my. So, already seeing glass. This glass looks shattered. So, I feel like if we place like an operator on it, the glass starts to shatter. That, that's what I, I love the design. They really did an amazing job on this. Wait, to see if. Turn on music on the stage. I, I can do that. Sounds good so far. Okay, it, it, it has a cool style to it. We're not making any use of the new range that we just unlocked, but it's fine. I love the stage design. Oh wow, this is honestly one of my favorite stage designs so far. I hope it's like this for the entire thing. That looks really good. What are those? Are those rapper? Like, like this dude looks like he's gonna fight like Eminem or something. Yeah, we might have, we, we may be a little bit over leveled for this. Oh, wow, this looks so good. Is this an Axia event, by the way? Like, is this like the the Sancta event or something? Like, they have wings. Like, I get a feeling that Sancta is probably like a a very relevant uh, uh, race here. Come on, uh, nobody is praising me that I beat the stage and know about Sancta? Come on, I didn't even read story. That should be impressive. Both of those feats. Laterano event and the Exo Sister. Okay, wait, who is the Exo Sister? But yeah, the, the soundtrack really was... was good. So 16 minutes uh, for all events. I don't think so. I know... No, oh god, that looks interesting to read. I know I never will, I don't have the time to read. But it would be interesting to read. One day I want to read one event. That's my goal. Before I leave Arknights, I'll read at least one event. Wait, it only has one blue box? Oh, that's amazing. You have never read anything in this game? Well, kinda I did. Like I went, like I don't like reading, and so what I did so I don't have to read the story is I hired or hired. I asked Arknight's content creator to voice act the story. In that way, I don't have to read the story by myself, and uh, people read it for me. That's the uh, let's just say that's how lazy I am. I did everything so I don't have to read myself. In other words. I had to rewrite the entire script, so it works. Or not rewrite a lot, but like I had to like um, add the names, like who is talking and stuff, and yeah, managing how voice acting and stuff. But all that, so I don't have to read myself. I have my clear goals. You pay for them? No, I didn't pay for them. What do you expect me of like being a nice guy and pay the people to do like to do work? I'm doing labory. That that's what I'm doing. It's it's saving me a lot of money. People actually think I would pay someone. <laughs> Ask Artika. The last paycheck he saw was probably like a. I don't know if you have ever seen a paycheck. Actually expecting me to be a nice guy. <laughs> so innocent. Read, continue 32 speed and eventually skipped it. Just watch Frostbite videos for that. Like, Frostbite is like the worst content creator for me to watch. He does everything that I want to avoid. If I want to enjoy his content, I would have to read. And this is really not something I would ever do. Like, his content is freaking great. Like, it's super informative to everything. Wait, no. Isn't it... AI? He's using an AI voice, right? 
Gender she is the one that doesn't use AI voice. Frostbite does. Wait, never mind. Frostbite is perfect for me. When gender she when gender she releases a video, then I have to be careful. But uh, yeah, I would say the one that doesn't use um like their actual voice, the one I watch the most, is probably either gender she or silver gun. Those are like my two favorite uh, Arknights content creators that I like to watch when I. Um, when I want to get information or do uh, see some cool runs. Oh, this is good placement. Graphic, don't get your hopes up. Uh, this is Eve. Yeah, some people are just clearly overestimating me. I'm a small brain, and I somehow have to prove it every single every single event that I am. Uh, let's just use lava like this. Make use of her new range, the, the, the newly acquired range. There's no shot he's gonna survive this, right? He is! What a legend. I should have faced him in a different direction, though. Wait, do they only have like one bazooka shot or whatever? Why did he stop attacking? Why that, did he stop attacking? I am really a bit intrigued or confused. So he did one use one shot. And that's about it. Does he only attack one time? Okay, I am very, very confused. Oh, that damage is absolutely crazy. How much damage does that, that, that do? Eh, it should be good enough. And pudding, and with that it should be beaten. They shoot once or twice. Okay. I was very confused but I like, usually just keep attacking. I n this is the first enemy that has like probably ammo, right? Imagine Foss having ammo and only can fire one purple shot. <laughs> that wouldn't be a boss anymore. Like, realism, realism destroys games. That's just so true. It's just like, if Foss would only have a certain amount of ammo, that shit would be so damn easy. Oh, we get Axia and Mossima as our new welfare units. Wow. They're gonna be really helpful. I'm 100% sure those, those glass tiles can break. Come on, they have to get broken. They need to be broken. Look at how the, 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 they, they look. I should probably read. Restores 1 SP to a nearby ally every 2 seconds. After being captured, immediately inflicts 1000 arts damage to nearby allies. And stun them for 5 seconds. So enemies can capture them. Do I get this right? Imagine it fails tutorial. I probably will. After Gelato is destroyed by the enemy, it deals arts damage to all surrounding allied operators and also stun them. For 5 seconds. I already read. I didn't need to read that again. So after it is reawakened. This is on my side again. I am a bit confused. After being captured, immediately inflicts a thousand damage to you. But after it's been captured, does it do something? It probably buffs or whatever. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. I have my doubts about that. But I shouldn't be failing this. Could you, you can fail this. Certainly. Who's using Mossima skill 1? Who's using Axia skill 1? What a shame. Oh wait, you can destroy it again. And then it's on my side. Ah. Okay. Oh, I, I welcome that. Mossima, I believe in you. If you didn't have Mossima placed down in the right direction. Okay, Gami is able to heal up in time. How do you fail that? Is that even possible? The thing's damn. I'm trying to understand the mechanic. You guys know me that it probably 
won't, I won't be understanding it on the first try, but eh. I try at least. You deploy Exia facing left. I think right. I faced Exia to right. Didn't I? And now with that GA4. We just need to... Wait. We just need to ensure that they don't detect this dude. But the thing is... Um... Who are they prioritizing? If he's friendly, do enemies prioritize to attack this one first? For important matters here. Actually, the new lava range is actually gonna be helping me. Like here already, good placement. Maybe a healer as, as well wouldn't hurt. Uh, how do I play this? I could try like the banner strats, but then I, I would go with that later on. So we're gonna go with Shalem first. And then putting in them banner strat. But like, something bothers me. They only have one attack, which is not bad as in itself, but it doesn't deal any damage. Now that, that one has two attacks, I can see that. But like, it deals like no damage at all. It should be dealing way more damage. Because this way it's not able to kill anything on the ground. Anything with a slight bit of defense. I mean, Pudding was kinda low. But that's because Pudding is freaking squishy. Like, she's 108 defense. She has 20 res. Wait. Since when has Pudding 20 res? Wait. That's new to me. Couldn't we just go with that? Yeah, there we go. Solve the issue. Place the freaking tequila down. Who's the purple girl? Um, Which one? We have Lava pur uh, Purgatory. The pink girl is uh, Pudding. Lava is great. She's a, she was a Valfer unit. I don't know if you can still obtain her though. You probably can. With three rounds and stuff. But yeah. Lava is a skin. It's not a skin. It's a alter version. It's a, a free star getting even stronger. You can make like for the people that are new that are confused like why there is like why I have certain units. If you just start off the game, you can probably get them as well. Like there's reruns in the game that you are having a, that you can unlock two like one every week. And uh, if you haven't done that yet, you should do that. And if you unlock the right event, you get the right units. Doesn't matter which one to unlock first, but if you prefer a unit, then go with the one you like the unit of first. And for Lava, I think you need to unlock the WR event, Walk in the Dust. Am I wrong? Am I right? I think it was Walk in the Dust. No. WR, what's it called? Is it Walk in the Dust? I'm not sure about the names. Who is real? Yes. Who is real was the name. They have some good... Like, I like the soundtrack of this event. And not just the soundtrack. So far, everything seems really cool about the event. The design, like honestly, favorite design of all events so far. I'm just, I'm a lover of this. It looks so damn clean. How did I face her? In that direction? In that case. How about I use Amiya like this? See if does not spend yellow certs. Yeah. One day I'm gonna add the rules. That um oh wait. Allison I think has access to my um stream elements. If you want, you can already make a command. Exclamation mark no gacha. And then people can see the no gacha rules. If you're interested in doing that. You don't have to right now, otherwise I can do it myself. But if you would have the time, you're welcome to do that. I like the new lava range. I, I can see use for that. Especially now when we have to uh, place them on distance. But after this, we're gonna pause the timer, by the way. And then we're gonna go and level Enforcer. The new Welfer. 
Yeah, so far the event, <laughs> the stages were a little, a little bit easy, to be honest. Like, I didn't use any brain. I didn't even focus on those. This one is soon to explode or die or whatever. But yeah. Actually, I need to try everything to keep it alive. Because the SP charger is really damn good. I kind of wish that I used the skill here once. Now I can't even use it. And Shalom for damage. So and with that, we are pausing in time for now to level that beautiful boy Enforcer. So Enforcer is a... Uh, the new well friend, I know he's not bad. Like, I can see some uses for him. It's just like, you probably need holes to make a good use of him. Which is gonna be quite difficult. You know, I just realized how ironic it is for Alison to have so much power. The only mod to have won their mod powers by beating Sensei in a certain Gamba. And the one mod who Sensei didn't want to mod is now one of his best mods. I mean, one of his best mods. I would disagree with that. Alison is always against me. He's not a mod for me. He's a mod for you guys. It's like, Adi's on my side. But freaking Allison is on your side. I have no trust in Allison's actions. Because any time a, a betrayal could happen. Oh, there's a quick connect? Oh, there would be a quick connect. It usually isn't there, you know. That's why I didn't even try to look for it. How much? Uh... Okay, we get, we get LMD. We get quite a lot of LMD. That's good. Question is how how we can level him. We might have to be like the normal stages a few or the event stages a few times, just farming materials to get enough LMD to level. Beautiful boy, enforcer. Question is where is he? Here. He has a cool look to be honest. He does have something. Yeah. Now officially I fixed the C. Uh, uh, 63 operators. But this is actually a lie. I don't have Korra yet. Wait. I could still. I could still have more than that. It would be cool though, but yeah. It is how it is. I didn't play this account from the beginning, so we didn't get Korra. And we we already have Feeder now. We're only missing Korra, right? Everything else we have on this account that was once free to play. Are you saying you're gonna make uh, gonna be able to max him? Not max level, but at least E2. That's E2 is the goal. Max level would be a little bit, a little bit high. I don't think we'll be getting that done. Also, I am gonna go back to a little bit more. Oh wait, we don't need to back, go back to cash music. We can go with that. Good. Can we even get him to like level 70? I have somehow my doubts. Something tells me we're not getting him to 70. Come on. Yeah, we're not we're not getting we're not even getting there. True question is do we have at least the resources? Or would I have to farm for the resources as well? Oh boy. Eight. We need eight of these. That's a lot. That's a lot, lot. Okay, we're gonna pray. We have to pray that we can <laughs> get those. I don't think I have the blue ones. Like, I usually never have the blue ones. Let's just, before I select something, how far are we off? We would have to farm 8 of these. Yeah, so... 
Uh, this might be hard. This might be really, really hard to accomplish. The other thing was... It wasn't that, right? It was another blue thingy. Wait, which was the other blue thingy we need? This one, right? Oh, you can only farm this? Just use green certs. You have to do pulls to get green certs. We're not getting there. Uh, we're not getting there either. I mean, like the rules state, like we said, we're not allowed to use yellow certs for like uh, buying an operator. To be more precise, we we could be doing that. Is there another way? Okay, why can't we only buy one? Okay, that sucks. With only one, we're not really getting anywhere. Here, no chance. This is this hurts. This 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 really does hurt me actually. I feel terrible having to do this. Oh my god. Oh, this is painful. Before I do that, let's just let's just start farming on the normal stage. I think this is better for my heart. So I already have him at E1 level 70. And I have the LMD. That shit is gonna... Oh my god, this is brutal. This is straight up brutal. Does it do anything farming that? What could I be farming here? Could be helping a bit. But yeah, we're gonna go here. Oh my god, do we really have to do this? Come on, you gotta tell me. I think I'm gonna skip leveling Enforcer. <laughs> I know I don't need yellow certs, but I'm also a man. I'm also just a human. This is too painful to do. I'm, I'm gonna ask a question. You guys can, you guys can decide. Use yellow certs. For blue shell. Yes. No. Tell me, I need your answer. It, this is painful. Final stage is shell farming. That makes it even worse. <laughs> that makes it a lot worse. You have even LMD for this? Not yet, but like farming this stage, we will get there easily. Or easily. Easily is a is a big word. We will be getting there. Time. We're not farming. Oh no, we're not playing. This is just like farming. We said we were gonna pause the timer. This is just uh, so we can use um, Enforcer for the, for the stage later on. Just for like the video that it looks a little bit better. I mean, even if they're good. I don't care. We don't care about this. I want him in the video for the no gacha so I can put him in the thumbnail. It's only for the thumbnail, guys. You can see your DM while at it. Did I got a DM? Yeah, I did. Wait. This account. Wait, this count as account damage, right? Did you actually accidentally... No, what? Did you do accidentally a pull? Like, I got a message, like in the DMs. Doctor free to play no gacha. He won free to play welfare um, units. Oh, well, yeah. And then I see here, having gravel... Stu okay, no. F I mean, gravel is... I mean, you can obtain her if you're free to play. You can. It's just like you have to save up the green certs.
yeah. I don't know how many runs we would have to do. Use Ewan Max before you wouldn't have time, yeah. I'm gonna go with uh, like that. I don't think I'm gonna go with more. I'm just gonna use the LMD and uh, hopefully keep him as E1. Well, yeah. There's no point in going for wasting yellow certs. Even you guys said I shouldn't go with that. Arknight's guts, cuts Arknight's guts everywhere. Thank you so much for joining in. Thanks so much for 200 bits. So, I'm assuming. Kuri Mark. Are you. Wait, I, I can't be wrong. I, I have now. I need to be right with the name. Are you Neo? I, I hope I, I have it right. Neo, is it you? JP, it's it, yes. Come on, it's great. If you like, if you uh, use 100 bits, then um, you get JPTTS. I mean, you don't have to be so strict with the Nogacha thing, uh, uh, verse devil. You really don't have to. Like, if you accidentally the pull, it's not that bad. You're just not gonna use it. It's your decision, though. Your final call. But yeah, Neo, <laughs> I really appreciate you for joining in. So for the people who don't know Neo, like or like a little bit of like a side story, we can do some farming while I'm while I'm uh, talking a little bit about this for a bit. So Neo is like the true legend. For the people who don't know, we have a DND campaign running about Arknights, or like in the Arknights world, and uh, Neo is like that stream is sponsored by Neo. It's more, it's not even a meme at this point anymore. It's like straight up. Neo is funding the entire stream, so it's possible, and it's, <laughs> it's just so generous of them. But yeah, really appreciate you for uh, for joining in, give us a visit. Also, by the way, for the people who don't know what D&D is, Dungeon Dragons, a cool roleplay game, or like it's tabletop. I don't know. You guys know it probably better than I do. It was it's my first campaign. Anyway, I have possibly managed to single-handedly kill the freaking team. I'm not spoiling more, but like, at the moment how it looks like, there is a very high chance that we all die. And that's all my fault. No one else's. It's just straight up my fault. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not, not, <laughs> not the best thing I did. Yeah, so the next session we have tomorrow. So if you're interested in shining in, uh, it's gonna be tomorrow. In uh, about this time, like we started tomorrow in about 22 hours. That's about accurate. So even scuffing in other games, yes. It's quite an honor to can to be able to say I pretty much killed everything <laughs> by one stupid action I did. I, it's it's hard to not spoil more, but <laughs> it's great. So what cut to the one who poisoned everyone? No, no, it it wasn't her. But we will, I don't know if we will ever figure it out. Like, I, I can't say it. I can't talk more, more about it. Anyway, we have now Shalem at E1 level 70. We're not leveling more. We're just gonna focus on beating the Nogacha thing. It's just, yeah. I planted trees last, yeah. Last session, uh, by the way, uh, Neo, like, pretty much gave, like, 50 subs or something. Give the 50 subs. That's, it's just insane. I feel my team. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. It's it's fine. This it needs to have some, like, tension going on. It can't on, not always be, like, happy life. And, yeah, we're gonna travel the world. Sometimes you have to go a little bit like the UK style and maybe go around and, like, murder some innocent people. It's just how it has to be. Otherwise, it would be boring, wouldn't it? So, uh, we're gonna restart the timer, by the way. It was at 60 minutes, right? So, we're gonna add some nines. And this one I got a delete. I have to reset the timer, sadly. And here we go! That should be 16 minutes. And now... I need to level the skills first. <laughs> save them. I'll just, yeah, to save it. I, I just say I'm maybe not the biggest brain in the community or in the in the team we have. That's all you need to know about the campaign. I'm just a greedy girl. That's about it. So um, where's Enforcer? Here. I hope I can at least level his skill. Like if he's not E2, then at least his damn skill should be a bit leveled. 
girl. I'm a girl and I'm freaking hot. I tell you that much. I am hot as fuck. Like, wow. I would... Come on, it's my character. You know my character. She is just straight up hot. Can you buy our main in the, in the event shop? That would help a lot. Otherwise, it's gonna be staying on the... That's all it is. Yes, you can. Do we really need to do another run? Oh, we have to do another run. <laughs> <laughs> Darling! No, we have to do <laughs> I'm so scuffed. So, so I expect tomorrow's session to either be a TPK or... Yeah. Tomorrow's session, I'm gonna be honest, will probably be the most interesting session. I've never been so hyped for a session than this one. Especially this is my time to redeem myself and keep the group alive. Probably Skorak has to try his best, but I don't know if he's able to make this happen against my decision. That's the reason why, like, he always tried to kill me in the beginning of the game. Like, I start off D&D, right? First time playing, newbie. Skorak just wanted to see me dead. I don't know what I did to him. I probably punched his kids or his cats or whatever that he had, like, an urge to kill me. I gotta be careful around him. And now I understand if he would. He will probably try to keep us all alive, but I don't think he's capable of doing that. I agree, girl, what do you mean to see? I thought you were a Yandere cat. A girl that goes around seducing everyone. We had like some kind of like wishy-washy. In other words, we had some character development. Like time got turned back and stuff and uh, I took a different route. What's D&D? So D&D is Dungeons and Dragons. For the people that don't know, um, it's like a roleplay game. For example, you can create your own character and like, hey, you are playing as a Draco girl. And it's in the Arknight setting. And then, for example, you have a dungeon mess and he's going to be telling a story like, um, so you're in a group with five people, a Draco girl, a lizard boy, and more, more, more. And you're going into a cave. You encounter... A white mage. She looks beautiful, but she looks scared. What do you do? And then you can say like you're the Draco girl. Damn. Hey, I'm also a lesbian. I would like to have sex with her. And then the dungeon is gonna be like, so you get closer to Dra to the girl, the white mage, and you try to have sex with her, and she didn't like it and killed you, and the game is over. That that's about what DND is, and in a, in a short form. Maybe if you're a good if you have a good dungeon master, master it's gonna be like a fight, and you're gonna have a chance to survive. But if it's me, you probably just die. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You guys know me. I, I I just... I'm not good at making stuff up. 10 out of 10 explanation for D&D. &D. Well, uh, come on. I try to make it as short as possible. You can make decisions. And those decisions will impact the story. That's about it. D&D &D is so complex. It's hard to explain it in detail. So I just went with the sex route. Because usually that's a really short one, at least in my uh, in my experience. <laughs> yeah, so I hope everyone knows now what D&D is. Any questions, students? Anything else you would like to know? By the way, we will resume playing the Nogacha very soon. I didn't think we'll be stalling for that long. Short one. Come on. Give me a better explanation of D&D. Better than what I just did. Now. It's got. It's hard. It's really damn hard. By the way, we are called. Um, I just said like, for, uh, you can watch us tomorrow. I should probably sh say where. Like we have a called. Uh, we have a channel that is called the Harm Assist, and uh, you can type it in in Google. And yeah, we have a Discord and stuff. It's a pretty cool place there. Get some fan arts as well. Uh, yeah. Why did you kill Best Dad? I didn't. Wait, do you mean Albert? If you mean Albert, I didn't want to. Oh, who else did I kill? I, 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 I... Somehow I really... Am I psychologically unstable? Why am I always trying to kill people? It's for the plots. It's for content, guys. Just keep that in mind. So Aaron creates OG character to play with, yes. And you roleplay as the character. So if you're, for example, a butler, you're gonna be like... Oh, my mistress, I play. It's a pleasure to finally see you again. Would you like to have some cup of coffee or some sex? I don't know. Why is it always ending with sex? 
Nah, but like you, you role play as the character. Good. Now I have enough to buy RMA, and this way we can finally resume with the freaking no gacha. If it keeps going, I feel like the subject would go and just a horrible route. So enforcer, I don't know. I think I'm gonna take out Benna. D&D is getting D&D uh, &D is get bard and sex. <laughs> That's how my stories are yo, usually where I go. You know, I try to get that what I can't have in real life. Uh, cat girl and sex. You gotta make decisions. Those are mine. Uh, good. Enforcer, race enforcer. Here we go. He will finally be able to shine. Can we SL7 him? Yeah, perfect. At least SL7. I can work with that. Now, he's only one level 70, but it's better than nothing. And it should be enough to put him in the thumbnail. It just needs to be there for like two stages, and then we're fine. And with that, we're gonna resume the, the time as well. So, I reset it to like 60 minutes, I gotta wait for a few seconds, and here we go. Also, the music is a bit, bit, bit chill. We might go with something more hype. That's like my, I'm just talking about random stuff music. And uh, this is my, we're playing no gacha the best we possibly can. Punch out music. I freaking love that. Wait, there's a freaking car. Wait, I do, I see two blue boxes. Okay. So let's just assume we can. Okay. Those cars are dangerous. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he goes. We're gonna go with that. I should have went with tequila. Oh boy. Not good. Oh, I'm, I'm a bit scared, actually. But there, I didn't know there's cards. I don't think he play punch out. I never play punch out. But I did see some like um, sounding salt videos about it, and it looks very interesting. It wouldn't be my kind of game, but it has something very cool to it. There's only 18 enemies, I just realized. Enforcer! Here we go, no clickbait, not at all. See, I'm a very honest person. I would never clickbait you guys into clicking on something you wouldn't want to see. Oh, there's another one. This side, this one has three charges. I mean, tequila is charged, so there can't possibly go anything wrong. I was always surprised the damage of tequila ain't that bad. Oh no, uh, uh, Enforcer. Anyway, Enforcer is dead now. That was his entire screen time. You can't have more than two minutes, come on. He's not, he's good, but not that good. I'm still very intrigued. By the way, look at the damage. Shalom's strong. <laughs> Which punch out? I don't know. I, maybe I did play one punch out, like when I was like five or six, but I can't remember if I actually did. It still looked very interesting. I look very fair familiar when I first watched a bit of it, but maybe I also played just like a flash game version of it that is like maybe a little bit more scuffed. GA7 time. I have to admit that we only have two more freaking stages and we're doing extremely well. Don't we? There's only one blue box, right? There's only one blue box. And there's one that enemies can, like, go from the underground up. But like, there's no spawner. I only see one spawner. Oh, there. Oh, there. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. That's really, really good. So in other words, what if we go with that? I'm a bit concerned about everything, but it's going to be fine. This one for damage. 
And then Shalem, I guess. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Nah, man. This is damage. I know this is damage. I I agree. This is damage. You're insane. Wait. You are absolutely insane. I need to get the skill. Come on. Get the skill. Get the skill. Get the skill. At least it's now a block. This is... Wow. It's more than the damage I expect than I expected. I can see myself failing this. I just gotta be really careful. Did one go in the underground? I don't know if I, if I saw one. I'm just gonna go with uh, saving this. Impressive. By the way, I'm using for Enforcer. Everything's fine. What do you mean there's more? Oh god, I've Amya. That's absolutely perfect. The reason why I say this... No, Amya is stunned. No, I could have used the skill. Kill it. Did she miss all? Possibly. As long as it works, I'm not complaining. You're doing well. You're doing fine. I hate the stunning boy though. With passion, actually. He's dealing so much damage. So only with this dude. So Gladia can be gone. Uh, I'm gonna go with you. And you. And that should ensure me the victory. GA7 done. I almost failed it in the start. But uh, not today. Now it's time for 8. Is there GA8? Is it GA8 the last stage? Or GA9? Or is there GA10? Could also be. Let's just think about this for a bit. Uh, for a bit. We can't deploy anything here. But we can deploy stuff here. And um, we have three red boxes. And a lot of places where they can go hide. Only eight. So this is the last stage. Wow. That's gonna be a short video. Do I even have to edit this? Like, I can straight up... Uh, the only thing I have to make is a card for leveling and foster. That's about it. But yeah, GA8. The final stage. I wouldn't mind if it takes a bit longer. It's for content. I'm still a bit concerned. Like, something tells me that it it might be hard. Since a lot of people said it's gonna be a struggle. Un unless you have the right threat. Hmm. I'm gonna go farm, yeah. You know what? I was thinking about killing them here. Well, I'm, I'm gonna try it. Oh, there's a boss. Okay, there's a boss. We're just gonna attack it. We hope it's gonna die. I, c I can already see myself using mint. But Cruz dealt so much damage. Like, really? Okay, he can instantly kill the tower, though. I still don't think this is going to be a problem. I'm going to go with Shalem. I feel way too safe for how this looks right now. He probably has a second life, right? No shot he doesn't have a second life. Uh, I can still deploy two more. It looks so easy. Am I missing something? There is probably a mechanic, an ability or whatever. Something I'm not aware of yet. Hmm. 
I don't know why I can live through like this. He has a second life. 100%. I don't like what I see. I didn't like what I saw at all. One bit, that was weird. I shouldn't have used that skill. Hmm. Kill it? Not him? Interesting. Very, very interesting. I don't know what the scanner did. Listen to his music. Okay, I will. No more epic music, we're gonna listen to the music. What's the freaking... <laughs> the freaking uh, ability he used? The scanner thing. Cannot be blocked while holding ammo. This unit gains increased attack. Attack will cause ammo to bounce to nearby target up to maximum. What is this? Is this the Bible of like a description? To maximum of five bounces, dealing additional damage to Galazzo stops. Ammo capacity after five, losing a certain percentage of HP. Create a permanent field effect. Light onto suffers enemies standing on light onto suffers. Take reduced physical and arts damage and gain 5% physical and arts dodge. After being defeated once, enters a second form, gaining increased attack and periodically using ashes to ashes, dust to dust. And Endoin stops attacking and scans the battlefield from left to right, looking onto the most 5 targets before dealing massive physical damage to them and fully replenishes ammo. It's like a short version of that. His names and everything. It's so weird. I shouldn't do what I think I what I have in mind. But I'm gonna do what I have in mind. Yeah, I'm gonna do what I have in mind. I just need to find someone that is like a bit bit better. I think I'm gonna go with Savacho. Can you stun him? I think I think stun is actually not bad. SMH wasted three minutes on reading. Oh no, he read, but I'm gonna save like 30 minutes with that. So tell me or show me why is the music so amazing? How do they walk? Oh they can walk. Mm -hmm. I believe in him, that he can do it. Good. Yeah. We're gonna try this. Certainly scuffed. But I don't really care, as long as it works. We're gonna do this, and this, and this. Is it enough? Is it enough? I believe in you. No! Close. Close, close, close. I, I should have probably checked like against, his, against what is weak. That might have helped a lot. Also, she's able to survive this, so I'm a tiny bit impressed by that. Track does slap though. Also, if Gable survives this, this is huge. Also, I'm gonna undeploy him. Or Shalem! But I need a heal. I need Breeze. Shalem is actually great. I should have faced him to the left. Doing that for the bind. 
And I mean, enf Enforcer? Enforcer. I don't know. Let's just go with this. Amya doesn't really help that much anymore. So we... I'm gonna go with this. I feel like I can maybe like outburst his life. Like what? Like just overkill it. Sometimes it works pretty damn well. Sometimes it doesn't. It wasn't a bad try after all. Oh, it's not in Bibix range anymore. Come on, get the kill in though. Get the damn kill in. That's the thing that is matters to me the most. He's not getting any defense though. I think that's good. Wait a second. I think that's really good. I'm gonna activate this and I'm gonna do this. And as soon as he gets... Um, being able to get attacked again, we have the damage. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? Oh, tell me it's dead. Wait a second. Oh, it's... It wasn't enough. Oh, it wasn't enough. But like, he's going down here, right? Where is he coming up? Probably here. Yeah. Deck is gonna do this. And uh, we might have it. You say it's a fail, but I, I'd be very surprised if it is. The track is good, though. I just need to ensure that uh, I have my healer back. 10 seconds. Shalem! Tequila! No! Tequila, please. He can do this multiple times? I mean, what do you mean? Come on, Tequila. Come on, Tequila. Come on, Tequila. Come on, Tequila. And I think with that we have actually beaten it. Wait a second. Was this everything? It was, right? <laughs> I I may have not understood uh, how it works. <laughs> okay. Let's just say that was an easy boss. I have yet to understand how the boss works. But we did it. That's all that matters. And with that we're gonna go with Tequila. And we have done it. I don't know what his name was. Uh, I have no clue. But with that, no gacha versus guiding ahead. First week has been finished. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised how I did this. It looked so damn satisfying seeing how the mill just annihilated him. Obviously, he survived. But I mean, it was quite impressive. I would be proud. He said it went all in. But yeah, with that, that was an easy new gacha. I don't know how we're gonna do it the second week because I have yet to understand how it works. How he works. It was very confusing. But uh, yeah, I'm very happy with how this turned out. But with that said, thank you so, so much for watching. We're gonna stop the timer at 33 minutes and a little bit above 33 seconds. And with that, everyone, hey. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, maybe leave a like, subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot. And maybe share it around if you really liked it. I would really appreciate that. But with that said, have a nice one. Good luck in the event on the year of Fiam Adapols. And I would say, have a nice one. Bye bye, Smasai. Have a good one. And see ya. That was the YouTube outro. There we go. I'm not going. I'm not going away. Damn, this was a cool boss. Wow, the. I love the design of the freaking event. Or at the end, that's fast. Yeah, this was the first week. Those runs usually take me for the second week three hours. I've had six hours. I've had seven hours. Sometimes, sometimes it takes insanely long. But like the first week is like easy stages. You get to, you know the mechanics. And since my Nogachi account is decently leveled, it usually doesn't impose a challenge on it. And you see recommended level E1 level 70. If you look at like um, stages from rerun events, uh, you can click on which one is it? This one here. And we're gonna click, for example, on the who is real event. 
you see... This one was actually like Elite 2 level 10 for first week. Already way more difficult, like based on the recommended level. And here, WREX8, E1 level 30. Like, those are the ones that are extremely difficult to beat. But yeah. First week is just, you have seen our... Wait, first week, you have seen our new music? Alright, you have some free content too, why not? It's just like a music showcase, yeah, that's it. Like how the events look like. It's just like an appetizer. The real event starts in the second week. Damn. We we have beaten that a lot faster than I actually thought we would. Wow, we could actually be going with... Um, my, I mean, recently we've only been playing IS. I could do <laughs> Annihilation. But that, doing that with no gacha usually takes three hours, if not more. And since I don't have the time, I have to go in like two hours. I don't want to risk and just start with it not being able to finish it. So we can do this like a Wednesday next week. We will see. I assume actually we're going to do this at Wednesday. But beside that, um, I didn't plan for this. Aren't there any paradoxes? Like, didn't they release any new paradoxes for me? It's kind of frustrating. Like, there's nothing I can I can beat with the, um, with the, like the operas we have. In that case, we're gonna be farming. I probably don't have a safe run yet on the on the stage yet. So why not just go with that? Let's just try if it's safe, since we need to farm the blue shells for each wing uh, enforcer, so it wouldn't hurt. Also, we're gonna go back to the summoning salt music. Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate that. Can't wait uh, for it to break immediately. It will be safe. Honestly, I felt like the beginning I did really damn well. Hi, first Devi. A fellow no gacha player. Hope you're enjoying it. No gacha so far. I rather let o o one only. Uh, yeah, I got to. Yeah. I honestly would rank this event actually really high. Like, so far, first week, what are your thoughts on it? I am a huge fan. I am a really huge fan of it so far. It's just like, the design is great. The music was fine. I, like, it was fine. It wasn't like the best I've ever heard from Arknights, but it was a really cool battle music. Um, just in general, like, the art style, like, how the event was designed looks fine. Yeah. It's already breaking. <laughs> it's already freaking breaking. Okay, we're gonna take over from here. But Bree survived. Wait, why the frick did Bree survive? That is not what F, uh, should have happened. Bye big, bye big, more bye big. Can I already use this? Perfect. It will die. I would say I would need more healers. I think that's the thing I need. This breeze is very dead. And I don't have another healer. Which is terrible. Breeze dies, right? If I understood the mechanic right. I don't understand the mechanic, but that's a good thing. I thought I'm actually straight up just dying. As soon as he would use it. Also, Shalem here. Uh, let's just go with Enforcer. Mainly because I need something in the back, since Shalem will probably just die. <sighs> risky. Very risky, but there's a chance. Never mind, if there's still a chance. I like how Pudding stands strong against all odds. I gotta make this a safe run. Korea, I believe in you. I hate those explosions, actually. Wow. They suck. Also, Cruz is really damn good. It is amazing. But yeah, I couldn't save this one. We gotta, we gotta learn how this boss works now. 
since I don't understand him the slightest. Like, what I was thinking we could improve. Yeah, I know. There's one thing I fucked up. That's the the timing of like my my skills. And Claudia. And Claudia. Claudia will solve all my my issues here. So first we're gonna go for career. For like charging a little bit. Uh you boy. And then um Amia. Like my idea is. What if we just block him or bind him with Gladia? That should be working. And then I uh, wait. It would be working, but this is has this has to be frame perfect. They, 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 I have no room for failure. What do you mean? Wait, what happened? So he can do something that the, the pillar attacks me with. So I do this. I do this. And can I already do this? Nope. Perfect. And now it should be in Tequila's range. And this way I should be able to do this. Wait, why is he missing everything? Are you telling me the dodges every time aren't cheap? Oh, wait, wait. Is it that what you mentioned before? Oh my. Oh that can be that can be actually brutal. But you're telling me eh, this is not consistent. Oh this will be painful. This will be really painful. Can he survive? Yes he can. Very close though. Um, Shalem facing to the left, since we need to charge the skill and want to attack Shalem as well as possible. But if the dodge is every time different, that is gonna be painful and annoying and not fun in the slightest. How am I gonna do this? Like, I need tequila. I, I really need tequila. I don't think that's gonna help. I think we're gonna go with something... Something like this, actually. I mean, I already used the skill. So, tequila into Gladia. And it's just nice timing. So the pillar doesn't kill us. So we just don't play stuff to the pillar. And now Breeze. Gotta keep everything alive. Amia. For redirect damage. This and this. And like this is this is damage. Like it's very hard to deal more than that. At least for a no gacha account. Good. That's as consistent as I can get. Like, the only thing that could fuck this up is if he dodges too many times in the run. Like, if he dodges here when we first kill him too many times. And that could absolutely F me. Guess I'm here free, might be. Yeah, might be. Like, I just don't think I can charge the skill in time to, like, quick kill him. Obviously, there's no need to quick kill him. I just feel like it's a little bit safer. Maybe I should try to make it fast as well. I think I'm gonna make it fast on my main account. I'm not gonna be farming on my Nogachi account. At least not a lot. Like just a few runs. Then I will try to speedrun like the kills. Really important. For the people that don't know, speedrunning, yes, it's a thing. Really important for like um, people that spend money in the game. If you do re uh, refreshes to like farm more, you can save save yourself save yourself so much time if you just kill the enemies as fast as possible on a stage. You can literally save yourself like 20 or 30 seconds. The earlier you kill them, the more time you can save. And if you know you do like 10 refreshes a day or like 5 refreshes a day, please make sure you have a run that is consistent but also fast. It saves yourself so much time. 
since I am doing refresh, especially on get on blue shell. I will try to make my main account a very quick run. Main account GA8 speed run. Yeah, by the way, that's great timing. Dylan here, if you have any questions about anything about uh, related to speedrunning in Arknight, Dylan knows everything. Like, Dil Dylan is like, Dylan and Lissot are the pros. There's also Epsilon. Epsilon as well. But I had more contact with Dylan and Lissot, so I'm confident that they know what they're talking about. Uh, can yeah. What else is there? That I should mention about this. I mean, for me, important now is that I. Wait a second. Gotta make sure I'm not in a copyrighted playlist. That would be bad. But yeah, for me, it's just important that this is gonna be safe. A lot of things can fuck up Darn Chief, but look at the, how many times he, he dodged here. Like, what do you mean? Like. <sighs> it's not safe. It's not safe. It's just not gonna be safe. Why is it like this? Hmm. Only will account can be speedrun. No, no, no. But I recommend for someone that uh, does a lot of reruns. Like, for someone that is having like a hundred or in a prime and doesn't want to use them for like poles. And you know you're gonna be farming like a hundred of this material. You recommend to have like also a fast run. So you save yourself some time. Even if you don't um, do a lot of free rolls. It's nice to have a fast run. It will just speed up your farming every day. But it makes more sense if you do like hundred runs than like just five. That's what I meant with it. Unlock here. Hmm. Think, 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 think. What do I want to do? A new run. I want to make it quicker and safer. Well, not quicker, but just safer. I want Enforcer here for leveling trust. We saw we don't necessarily need Breeze for the heal there. I think Mint. I think Mint is a great choice here. Uh, caster. We also... We're not gonna activate this skill. How else... Can we make sure that we can kill him fast enough? Like, it's really close with the dodges, but if we get unlucky dodges... The run is just over. I want to prevent this. I can get some true damage in with Cliff Heart. That would ensure us that um, we at least have enough damage. Wait, he can't dodge true damage? Wait, really? I felt like he could. Oh, that's good to know. I really thought he could. Um... We're gonna go with the same startup. I was actually quite happy with that. Now thinking about this, this stage is very damn easy. Also, we can face it to that dead side, right? Yeah, we can. And then we're gonna go with Gladia. And then Cliffheart. And then mint. If if that time is allowing it. So we're gonna wait. I need mint. I definitely mint. Mint like this. Good. Activating tequila. Uh, activating Amia. Belief. I don't think he's gonna kill Amia now. So that works. It should be in Tequila's range. Uh, Cliffheart can at least get one attack in. 
so this should definitely like go for the kill still they will still hitting and like if, even if with better RNG they're still going Amia Amia can be gone Tifa can be gone Shalem it, yeah let's, let's just underplay everything Was this stamp? No, I, okay, perfect. I'm, I was afraid I deployed too early. Also, could have found a deployed Minto. Would have saved a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no way he's gonna dodge so many times. I could go with Cast Ramya. I'm, if that's gonna fail now, I'm probably gonna try Cast Ramya. But there's no way this is gonna fail. I no shot. Mm -hmm. How do I play this now? Uh, before it was fine, but I'm still concerned about this. So Claria here, uh, Tequila here. What else? I kinda... I don't trust this. I really don't. I'm gonna go with Amia. Breeze. Activating the skill here. I don't know if it was too early. Shalem. I could have used Shalem way earlier than that. And Cliff out for more damage. I mean, come on. It doesn't matter how many times he dodges. There's no way he would survive like that many hits. It's just, it's just not a possibility. He, like, this is like the worst possible outcome. He dodged so many times. And, uh, I can probably go with getting rid of you for you. And now it should be safe. If it isn't, I am a bit confused. Watch him getting 100% dodge every time auto run. Imagine. <laughs> like, honestly, how do you how do you beat this boss if he actually gets 100% dodge for once? Like, imagine you're on the run of your life and it just gets like 100 dodges. 100% dodge. Like, what do you do? Like, you're straight up just fucked. Like, even that there's this possibility this is gonna happen. It's just so discouraging. I just hope I never have to see that. This cliff heart for a little bit of damage. I just wish I find a way to kill this one earlier. Like, it takes so long. And now we just wait. Like, straight up. All you can do is just wait. Now, I'm, I'm not liking the last enemy here. It feels so unnecessary. You also don't fail because of him. And there we go. Oh yeah, Kalsit is gonna be amazing for this. So everything that has two damage. So we have Kalsit. We have um what else do we have? Kalsit, Clifford, Amia. Isn't Weedy doing true damage? But I feel like Weedy can do as well. Uh who else has the ability to deal true damage? There's there's a lot more now. It used to be only four. Night nightmare. Not, is, you sure? Yeah. Oh yeah, Amia. Didn't I say Amia? Yeah, Amia Caster. And uh, what else? There, there is more. Not with this based on distance pushed. Yeah, but isn't like um that treat as true damage? Like for example, if you push someone in a certain distance, it's is it physical or is it magical? Or is it true damage? That's what I'm not sure about Weedy. Like it's distance pushed, but. If you push them like five meters, it's like someone like a boss never happens. But it is treated as true damage. Are you free? What? What? What went wrong here? 
Wait. Wait, my, my entire run. This doesn't even have to do something with uh, true damage. How did this not go the way I wanted it? You didn't win the Gamba yet. Now you did. Now you won the Gamba. So I'm confused. What what did go wrong? Was I think it was Gladia, right? I think Gladia's skill was so frame perfect placed that it didn't activate. Because I was actually surprised about myself when I when Gladia skill activated before. Gladia died. Man. Hmm. I'm gonna give it a try if I'm a caster now. To make it safe. But that is... That is weird. That is not even... Has, that has nothing to do with the dodging thing. The Claudia died there. That is just a weird thing why she dies. I... I don't know what happens that she decided to just not live anymore. So... This time, important that I, is that I charge Amiya. That's the most important thing. How do they walk? Like that. I'm gonna go with this. Every, every attack is a charge. And that's what matters. Amiya is getting the skill. That is already one thing that is super, super good. I understand. I understand the boss. Oh my. Wait, so the attack jumps from one to another. Okay. Okay, so... So, yes. I just ha have to prevent them from being in one line, right? That's about it. That's that's the solution. So if I am not using absent, and I'm going with uh, I I don't know Granny, doesn't really matter at this point. Just don't place them in one line. Otherwise, you do bouncy bouncy and you're fucked. So I gotta go with you. I'm gonna need to charge. That's the most important thing. If Amir doesn't charge, we have a slight problem. I don't know how far his jumps is, uh, are though. That's the only thing that is a bit concerning to me. I need to figure it out. It's not jumping from there. Good. Where is her range starting? There. You're probably thinking why I faced him that way. It's because I wanted to, to, to try this. How much is it? So if I do this, do it, does it start to jump again? Yes. Okay. And of course he has that much HP left. Because why not? Good, I understand. I understand, so we can actually go with um, Tequila facing down. Good. 
This is actually very interesting. I... I, I remember that I read about the chain caster thing, but I completely ignored it. That is important knowledge to have gained now. So Amiya needs to be frame perfect activated, but the placement I think in general was fine. Also Amiya skill like caster Amiya will be able to be activated multiple times, which is really helpful. Now we believe that this has to be very precise activation, but it can work pretty well. I wish I would have gotten the hit in. Um, I mean, why not? Wait, can I not just... Nah, I, I think I prefer that. Like she, she's gonna die anyway, so I'm gonna go with this. Good. I can actually deploy stuff on this one. I gotta remember that. Mm-hmm. Claria for like the little bit of stall. I don't care about like what happens to them. But like this should ensure we're gonna keep Amya as long in as possible. I do not want to risk anything. Good. That should have been long enough. I'm gonna wait here. Gonna deploy you. Gonna deploy Shalem. I could go with Mint. You know, let's just go with Mint. Ah, it's too early. He's still there. I don't think that'd be a good idea. I mean, just waiting now. If that isn't the, if that isn't consistent, then I don't know what the frick is. Like what the game wants me to do, but I I, I pretty much can't, can't be more consistent than that. But that's bad. But that's bad. I'm frozen for five seconds. You know what? It's it doesn't matter. I'm faster. Good. The five seconds worked okay well. I'm a bit concerned about like the leaking through, especially Enforcer is uh, enduring some hits, but it's okay. It's very okay. We have now Clifford there, true damage once more. Then Gaviel, uh, Gladia, Tequila, and we should be fine. I hope that part might be failing, but we can at least take over from there in case it is just too inconsistent. Let's just go with this. Wait, because I killed him so damn early, we're getting now the damage in. Ooh, boy. They could have me. Shalem. Career. Uh, tequila. And you. Amia is alive. That is also something that matters. Come on. I can't rely on Amia being alive every, every round. But it certainly would help. Come on. Attack the right one. That's all I'm asking you, Amia. Attack the right one, like two or... Yes. Thank you. You died. I don't even know if you attacked the right one. It's fine. I forgive you whatever you did. Is this safe? That looks horrible. We actually won the Gamba. Yes, Art. We did. The final time has been quite impressive, I'd say. We did really play well today. So, Art, I am... Happy to announce that you haven't lost any points. I hope you're happy about that. I also got pinged in my Discord and I don't know for what reason. Why did I got pinged? What, what did you send in? Uh, I don't know. I don't see it. Might have been deleted. 
And I'm gonna wave with tequila this time. Saving up the power. And then Shalem. And tequila. And they dodge. Like, do you see how many times they dodge? It's insane. Like, what is the dodging rate? 80%? Like, wow. That's why I ping. Okay. It feels not like 50. Sometimes, like, they take, like, 10 hits. No dodges. And you're a time when you have your strong attacks. Dodge. 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 No damage in the entire time. This can be so damn frustrating. I am not excited about the freaking uh, EX mode of that. It's more like hoping that RNG is in your favor than actually beating the boss. But yeah, true damage is... the vic It's just a path. Anything else but true damage is uh, not recommendable. Rumby! How are you doing? Yes, be... Wait, has he beaten the stage yet? Yes, I did. Currently just trying to make a run that is like about safe. About okay. That works. Can I say scene can ha handle the stage except for the boss? Well, the stage itself is super easy. Like, really. I don't know how scene... Yeah, no, scene... I mean, technically, can you do solo? Scene and Amia? I can see that, because what you would do is like, is like you play scene here, Amia here, and then Amia is like charging, you have one fast kill here, and I had to promise scene here is not a good one. Scene probably one on those tiles, on the upper ones. You play scene on the upper ones, uh, Amia here early, charging the skill, place a robot here to redirect the damage, and then you just pretty much handle it with Amia, and then you have a two operator clear. Link can, but scene can't. Uh, can't. And the thing about Ling is, you gotta ask yourself, what can't Ling handle? Like, whatever problems you have in life, Ling is able to handle it. Like, Ling is just the ultimate operator. If you if you don't know how to cook, Ling can do it. If you don't know how to be the stage, Ling can do it. Whatever happens, Ling can always be there for you. She's the perfect wife. What about drones? Uh, Link can handle drones. Maybe not with the dragons, but I don't even know if she can handle drones with dragons. I have yet to play Link for the first time on my account. I, I mean, she's an alcoholic. This is even a, is, this is a plus, right? This is a, yeah, this is a plus, isn't it? I am surprised how long they lived. That is quite a feat, like the boss. There's like so much damage. Shalem, Gladia, Tequila. He came until Tequila. That's impressive. Maggie, Maggie Scene can duo. I want to see Mandicor duo. So, yeah, are we going to go with that topic again? Like, I think Rambi wants to prove that his wife is better than mine. But I, I'm just not built the same way as you. Like the way I select my wives is not my wife is not by how strong she is. It is by her personality. And that's why we're just on the same level, man. Hey, it's great if your wife is strong and can beat you in the fist fight. But hey, at least my wife has a personality that I can rely on. And she is a good girl. Your wife is not max level. As I said, I don't care about power of oh, fuck my that's because I didn't have many credit team. How did I not? I had to. Ch I had to look. I, I. I was looking away. Rambi distracted me. I, I, that was Rambi's entire plan. So it's safe until the very two last things that I just previously said. No one is gonna die from them. Great. The game really hates me. Yeah. Chat distract. That was the plan. Should have used scene. Nah, I'm gonna use scene probably for the EX stage. Very likely. But let's be honest, I am... I don't know the stage enough well yet. I mean, this one I think I do. I think I would be able to do it three ops with scene. But maybe four ops. I, 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 I shouldn't be too cocky. I'm still a low brain. 
I can see Sin handling most stuff. I don't think it's hard, since um, Career can handle this pretty well as well. So, uh, I can see that. But like for the EX stage, when it's finally out, I don't think I will be having an easy time with Sin. Even though she's probably insane again, I don't think I can make it happen. Have you listened to Boss BGM? Yes, I did. Chat was pretty much... Uh, forcing me to listen to it. That's a good track. Oh wait, here it worked. Here, actually, um, Enforcer would have lived here. Yeah, the Amiya seemed to, like the way I placed Amiya, exactly that way. Amiya was pretty much able to kill him, but one shot less. Oh, it, it missed one shot. Better execution with the skill, or just early skill activation, would probably make it happen. Let's try copyrighted. It's not. If it's copyrighted, then I'm gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna do, but hey, I wouldn't be happy with Hypergriff. I really wouldn't be. But like, shouldn't Breeze have healed? That's the thing that confused me. Breeze should have healed Charlem. Where did it go wrong? Like, what did go wrong? Did I not place Gabriel down? So I placed down Pudding. I'm gonna go with this. Uh, there's no way it's not gonna be safe this way. I would not know what to do now. Like, this is safe. That's the safest I can do. Shot him not- it's not gonna die. I don't know if that push is a good thing. He can push now the freaking robots into the crowd. That really isn't the, the big brain plan here. I'm gonna go with this. I'm um, yeah, charge your skill. You might have to, you might get it. Also, Shalem's pretty damn strong. And that's... And we're gonna go with this to ensure that it's gonna be fine. You, you... It's really close with HP. But there we go. Should be fine. We're not failing anymore. That is my safe lineup. I failed this so many times. Wait, did we only get two of these? What do you mean? I've been farming this for so long. We did like ten, like eight, no, about six, five tries. How do we only get two? Never mind, I'm lazy. In what regard? I added you. All good. Um. By the way, for the people that want to add me, I think my username is S E S I F hashtag zero four eight four. That is my. My hashtag name. For the people that want to add me. My main one is uh, Cecif C E S I T H hashtag 6622. It's been so long since I said that. I, I don't know if I'm correct. You can just type in Cecif for the uh, daughter version of Cecif and you find me. Can I add your main account? No, you can't. I don't allow it. Of course you can. I, tr I, like, I look through if I have space. If I have, I, I accept you. If I don't have space, I will not get rid of someone. But if there is space, I definitely will. A uh, friend list, they depend. Like, I used to accept a lot of um, new players. I do that a lot. I think that's the least I can do. I think it's really nice if you're a new player to have like some good operators to help you out. But new players are more likely to not play the game anymore in a week. So it happens a lot that I have like a player level 30, not have locked in for two weeks or for like a month. And then I'm like, yeah, I give the spot to someone else. And this is how like I always have more, like sometimes I have space, sometimes I don't. But I like I liked to give like the advantage of being my friend list. You know, like it's not even a big thing, it's just being in my friend list. And two newer players, so they have like some kind of support.
Are we really at this point now? At least... We haven't failed yet. But I don't know if this will change. Oh, it's to see 5599. Wait, my Discord is to see 6662. I was wrong. I knew in Arkansas it's two numbers, uh, two different numbers, twice in a row. But uh, yeah, I fucked it up. Nice. Thank you very much for telling me. So five hashtag five five nine nine is the is how you can find me. This is safe, right? It's not gonna fail. I don't like this. I don't like the stage, by the way. Let me just say this, the stage is no fun. Why, why is it always so RNG heavy? Like, come on. The run before was fine. We're barely dealing any damage. It's not because we don't deal damage, it's because he's like dodging everything. Tell me, this is finally safe. I've been trying to make a safe run for easily now for 40 minutes, right? You introduce a lot of our. Wait. You're introducing a lot of RNG by dropping too many ops with boss of Bounce Go Ever. Wait, the, the bounces are not predetermined? Oh, what do you mean? Why is it just not the same always? Why does it have to be so RNG heavy? Just use Surter, da. I wish I could. But I'm free to play and Surter is not free to play. You know what? The only real fight here would be using Mandicor, Ethan, um, Mizuki, and Kirara. The fight between the Dodger. Who can out dodge each other? 50 50 percent. For both 50 50 my ass. Since either dodges way more or way less. But that would be the battle of century. That would be very interesting to follow. I'm throwing over. I know, I know, no worries. <laughs> I'm very aware of that. I, I don't think I've ever taken a just use Twitter uh, comment ever seriously <laughs> in my life. I think if you actually want to give someone uh, like a helpful information, you're just not gonna say just use Twitter. Imagine you like you like uh, just started off Arknights, just streaming it for the first time, and everyone is like, "Oh, just use Twitter," and you're like, "I I have mouse. I I don't have a six star yet." Like, yeah, I usually don't. Take out, uh, give this advice to someone that just started off. Anyway, I think with that, I think after this, I'm gonna end the stream. Like, as soon as this is uh, proven to be safe. Also, I should have used Shalom way earlier. Like, way, way earlier. But this looks now like what I was looking for safe, clean. Activate the cliff bar like never. Um, no RNG. He's not gonna go through this. He will not survive this. Absolutely what I appreciate to see. I like when he dies. This is safe. This is just your, your missing trust. This is absolutely safe. I hate this stage. Nah, man. Nah, man. This is like the worst stage ever created. How in the world do you make a safe run here? I know what I have to do now. 
I know how to make this safe. But still, so activating Shalem earlier. One thing. Great. Other thing, activate Cliffhart. Great. Side death, I don't know. I just had to activate Clear Cliffhart and then it's fine. But th this is actually insane to me that they, they went with like something like this. Yeah. Like so much RNG. I hate a phantom already. They thought like, yes, it's a good idea to make now an event with a boss like phantom. But annoying. But really annoying. I really should have used some stuff like mint or pudding. I should have brought like a second healer. Everything would be just so much more safe. So I'm just hoping that I'm able to pull this off. Good. Not taking over yet. Gotta take my time. Also, don't ask me why mint is there. I, if I would know. I would tell you why. Good. Where does he start hitting? About here. Good. Her skill ended. We're gonna go with this. Shalem, I believe in you. Shalem, I believe in you. Prove to me that you're strong. I need another heal. I really do. Okay, that's a new thing. Why? Why? Why is... Why is he attacking... <laughs> the stuff that he's attacking? I don't really appreciate that. Come on, just heal. Come on, just heal. Kill. Kill. Is he dodging now everything? It probably is. This is insane. How? Uh, why? Why? Why is this like this? Die. Die. Mint. Come on. Come on, this is mint range. Come on, don't lie to me. <laughs> is this finally consistent? It has to be. It freaking has to be. There's no shot it is not. I know it is not safe. I'm very well aware of that, but I want to dream. Just let me dream. Let's just assume this was the worst possible um, amount of HP he can have. From now on, it's better. Cliffheart. Cliffheart damage is pretty good. So, you... You... And you, and this way we can use you, and uh, Cliffheart, and that should be enough. Please be safe. I mean, come on. That that's like, can, can we have a round count? A round counter? How many times? Like we haven't gotten one run in where I didn't have to take over. Not even a run with similar luck. Just always completely different. And force the throwing bombs at enemy. Uh, uh, come on, L let him do what he wants to do. He will not have a lot of screen time after this. So... Just... <laughs> just let him be. Also, Odedus, no. thanks so much for joining in. And for the follow, appreciate that. Now... How many of you think this is the run that is finally safe? Maybe I just have to undeploy Amir here earlier. 
I want to ensure that not even RNG uh, can play with this. That's why I kept her in for so long. But I I overdid it. I gotta change this. If that isn't safe, I'm gonna change that part. So I can deploy Amiya earlier. I'm not gonna sacrifice Mint here. Since I can use her for... Um, let's just say redirecting damage here. And we should be getting somewhere with that. I'm forced to gotta help the homies. This is just an Amiya showcase. Okay, who died? Okay, what's different this time? Come on, what is it? There's a, there's a yellow bar, and I just don't like this yellow bar. Did my Gable survive? Like, I think my Gable survived. I don't know what the problem is here. Something is different. Oh boy. This is not the error message, this is the error risk message. There's a difference, a, a big difference. If you see the error risk message, it's still fine. That might be the first ever run that has come to the finish line without me changing anything. I have a very good feeling about this. Why do you undeploy Gabriel? Why? Gabe, you really didn't need to. Game is undeploying. In my. Yeah, this is not great. This is still failable. Activate pre skill. I, I swear to God, please do it. I know I didn't do it in the actual run. Yes, come on. It might not be the cleanest run, but stop dodging. <laughs> this is insane to me. <laughs> this is insane to me. I'm already using true damage. But I'm using it for the second time now. One last try to make it safe. Otherwise, I'm calling it. I can just say fuck this. How, oh, how, how? Good. I went safe here. We're gonna take them out earlier. I'm gonna change the order for Amiya and stuff so she can use her true damage against the dude here. That's all that matters. That's pretty much all that matters. How can Shrax even dodge attacks? You're asking the real questions. So, this is already the spot where I'm taking over. Also, thanks for our follow! Play you! Appreciate that. So, already... That should be long enough. We're gonna wait. I think that makes more sense. Going with that. Mm -hmm. Now we're waiting. I just need to find a way to get the Amiya skill. If I can do that, I am very confident about this run. I'll be at 13 seconds. Um, yeah, this is this is gonna be all you, by the way. Amiya um, yeah, like this. She needs to charge it full. If I can make this happen, we got it. If I can't. Well, it sucks then. <sighs> mm. 
mint is great. She will get stunned now because I was a little bit unconscious and not really cautious about it. I mean, I think out of the range now. Please tell me Amiya is gonna attack the right one though. Uh, please tell me Amiya. Don't don't troll me like this. I, I swear. Just don't troll me. Please don't troll me. Yes! This needs this is safe. That is safe. I cannot change anything about this. That is exactly how it's meant to be played. Nothing, uh, no different than that. <sighs> we are finally there. It took us, it took, took us way too long. But I can confidently say that there is no chance that this is not going to be the safe way. Let's just activate Granny. She would die otherwise anyway. So why not? Uh, pudding! I don't know for what reason, we're just gonna use your pudding. Cliff heart. You, uh, you died a horrible death and I'm aware of that and I'm very sorry for this. <laughs> we're gonna go with you, Tequila. I don't care about speed anymore. I All I care about is that we just are done with this. I just want to be done, please. Come on. Let it be done. This has to be it. I miss getting the skill as well. Oh, never mind. She's not. One attack from Amiya. Amiya is going to get the final kill. There we go. I am sure, yes. You know what? I have I have trust in this run. This is gonna be less round prediction. Is this run safe for one round? Just one round. The next round it has to be safe. Volke! Thank you so so much for the raid, I appreciate that. How is it going? Uh, we're currently just making a prediction, so if you want to join in, you can. How did this stream go? Um, yes, it is. Or... No, it isn't. So you guys have uh, one minute time for the prediction. So, we have been trying this for about an hour now. To make a safe run for this on my Nogachi account. The runs are going really well. But uh, the question is, did I save it? Wait a second, did I save it? Oh, don't tell me I didn't save it. Oh, didn't I? Wait. I don't know if I did. <laughs> yeah, we've been trying to make a save run for one and the... Uh, yeah. By the way, if I didn't save it, then this one doesn't count. Because we already know the other one is not safe. We're also gonna pause here. Oh, no, we're not gonna pause. We're gonna wait and see if it's the right run. Also, Volke. I'm taking a break from uh, from Korean COVID-22. Enjoy your stream. Okay, and recover. Get well soon. Thanks so much for the raid and have a nice one. And good luck in the event if you haven't played it yet. So. How fast did I underplay them? I did save it. Good. It's this one. Now, is this my first safe run? Yes or no? It needs to be. I've been stuck for this for way too long. Yeah, let's skip this. If it appears, one leak. Non believers have won. I like how. Are, is there someone believing? Is there really no one believing? Uh, but yeah, um, people that came from Volker's stream, what did you do? What was he playing? Also, if you don't know me. Hey guys, I'm like. A dude that also does Arknights kind of like Volker. I think I saw him before playing something else in Arknights. But yeah, you probably also know him from 
his Arknight's kind of die soon. Uh, do the same thing. Less smart though. 12 people believe. Hey, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Was tabletop simulator. Okay. Never played that. Might be interesting to check out once. Like, what can you play on tabletop simulator? Before that, he was scamming us on Fia Banner. <laughs> you pure souls. How can, like, you did the same mistake at my audience. Letting the streamer pull for you. Like, we already know, like, streamer luck is just not a thing in the Arctic community anymore. It used to be, but at this point, everyone is just scamming each other. This is not, a, a not being nice anymore. This is like, you, who gets scammed by who? Like, you sign up for getting scammed and not for getting pulls. That's what it is. D&D, &D, etc. Oh. You can play just about any board game. That's nice. Were you playing D&D? &D? Like, we were just talking about D&D &D before because um, me and, like, another few Arknights content creators, we have, like, an Arknights D&D setting. Um, I know, Arknights setting at D&D &D session. Which we do it live, and it's quite interesting. Also, for the first time in one hour and ten minutes, we finally managed to make one safe run. Believers have won. Non-believers, second lose today. A rough day for the non-believers. Very rough day. Kurt Kobe 22. Well, I'm not sure if we get, I mean, COVID-25 could also be happening very soon, so be careful about that. It doesn't matter if you correct COVID-22, 23, and 24, if COVID-25 is still around the corner. Gotta be careful about the stuff there. But yes, yes, yes. I will also be ending the stream very soon. Since we already did no gacha in Arknights, that we have played the entire like um, first week of the event with like an account that only has well for units, and uh, we may have <laughs> done it in like 33 minutes. So I don't have more content than that. In other words, I will give you guys to another Arknight streamer. Question is who? Who is streaming right now? Who will never be completely gone? I think so as well. It's just gonna be like a like a normal flu that is going around. Got just gotta get used to it. Um, so Arknights, who's streaming Arknights right now? We have Phyllis guy actually doing pretty well with fewer ships. Um, I see a lot of boobs. Oh my god, I actually see a ton of boobs. How is like every VTuber has like? Okay, this VTuber there is like the biggest boobs ever. I don't want to display this because it's they they're massive. Uh, so who could we rate? Would appreciate a rate. Yeah, we're gonna rate. Phyllis guy. You know, Phyllis guy is someone that um, I somehow never rate because she always ends before me. Now she's live. So I am going to rate her this time. So make sure to say hello, leave her like, get, give her some greetings, and be nice in chat. But with that said, everyone, all of you, thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate that. And I wish all of you a nice weekend. Good luck on the event and the polls or whatever you're doing. And with that said, have a nice weekend. And I would say, bye-bye, Smith Sai. Have a good one. And see ya.